Hey guys, this is Barbaros with Barbaros Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be following up with some more shotcut tutorials. I've been getting a lot of questions about some of the different features, the filters, different things you can do. We're going to only cover a few today, that way it gives me more to talk about in later videos for shotcut tutorials. The main things I want to cover today are going to be questions that I've gotten from viewers. Uh, how to zoom, how to crop, which you'll learn are basically the same thing in this program, how to add pictures into your video, and then also how to mute audio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get started with zoom and crop. We're going to go ahead and couple those together because those are basically, like I said, the same thing. All right, so we're going to open up just a random clip, just some, some Black Desert gameplay of mine. All right, we'll go to the beginning. And the first one we're going to cover, like I said, is going to be zoom and crop. Zoom and crop. All right, so basically what you want to do is you're going to want to straighten up a little bit. That way you got some room to drag. Um, so you're going to go to your add a filter, and then you're going to go to the video tab, and it's going to be under crop. All right, once you do this, now be careful when you're dragging these settings because they, they do adjust real time. Um, so you can actually see it as you adjust the slider. You'll see it adjust as you need it to. These are very sensitive settings. You, do, you don't really have to adjust them much at all to get to a specific spot. So say if I want to zoom in on my map. Um, now this is, I'll give you a heads up, this is artificial zoom and crop. Uh, it does not keep the original quality when, when the you know, it's just like a, just like on a, like a, just a basically like a digital zoom. So the more you zoom in, the worse the quality is going to get. But that's how it is on all of your programs, unless you have that built into your, you know, unless you, your graphics are that amazing. But, um, so we're going to start at the top, you see, I want to start at the top right. And so we're going to start with the bottom filter because I want to bring the bottom of the screen up. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the on it, and as you can see, if it'll go, there we go. Like I said, as you drag it, it adjusts it real time. All right, so I just want the map on there. So there's my bottom slider. The top slider we can do a little bit. And then the left, obviously, we're going to want to zoom that in. Too much okay there we go all right so we're gonna start out doing the zoom there and as you can see it zooms in while you're playing the game on that one particular spot and then I'm gonna pause it there and I'm gonna split it the playhead that way we can tell that filter to stop and we're gonna delete the filter so then it'll look like so you start out the game and you zoom in, you zoomed in on, on a particular spot in your video, and then once that, once your split there is done, the filter goes away and you're back to normal. Now like I said, you can adjust that however you want to, um, obviously it depends on what part of your video or what part of the screen you're wanting to zoom in on. So there is zoom and crop also. Um, obviously your crop's probably not gonna be zoomed in this much, but um, we'll just do another filter here for crop. Say you're wanting to just focus on, you're wanting to crop out your surroundings and you're just wanting to focus on your character. It's just as simple as dragging the, your left slider, then dragging your right slider. <laughs> and your video is cropped. And like I said, this basically zoom and crop is, they are identical features in Shotcut. And then you've got, it'll only focused on your character. So there's that. 
and we'll split at the playhead there. That way we can end that filter. Okay, to go over the next thing, we're going to go over adding pictures. I've actually gotten quite a few questions on adding pictures. It's They don't see a spot on the timeline where you can add pictures. Well, I've responded to some of the questions, and some of the questions are easily responded to in the in when I answer them, people understand it, but I figured might as well throw it in a video. That way you can actually get a visual on adding pictures. So what you're, wanting, what you're going to want to do, and I'm just going to add a completely random picture, so don't make fun. Uh, what I do for pictures is I add a completely separate timeline. I don't, you don't really want them to overlap on this stuff. Um, so I'll insert video track, same thing. For pictures, it's it's the same thing. So we're gonna go. We're gonna start there. And then open. So now I have to find a picture. This is gonna be fun. I don't know if I even have pictures. It's... All right, we'll just use this here. Um, what kind of product placement do I want? All right, let's just do my subscribe button on YouTube um, all right and same thing here it's gonna open up as one big video frame almost so say if you only want it to add you only want it to go over a certain part of the video because um, as you can see here it'll go over the entire screen so Obviously, what you can do is you can adjust that. Let's see, where it is you can do, let me find the size and position. So, here you can adjust the position of your item that you want to pop up on your screen, and then you can just adjust it as needed so it's is adding a picture is as easy as that it is super easy so going from that frame to boom yeah subscribe to me woo all right now we're back it's as easy as that and you just do that for each one I would use one timeline for all of your pictures unless obviously you're having multiple pictures pop up on your timeline at once then I would um, then I would look into keeping if you're having pictures pop up on separate parts of your timeline then you can just use one video timeline for all of your pictures but if you're having multiple pictures pop up you could either take all your pictures and put them into you know throw them in GIMP or throw them in Photoshop and make them into one picture themselves and then throw it on there or you can do a video, uh, you can do a video timeline, a new video timeline for each picture, which honestly, you'd probably hog up a lot of memory do, making a bunch of video timelines. Um, so I would just stick with, if you're going to do a bunch of pictures on the screen at once, strategically place them in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever photo editing software you use and go that route. It's probably a lot easier too. <clears throat> So there's adding pictures. Ooh, subscribe to me. Um, I'm gonna split there. Here. Um, and then the last thing is going to be muting audio. All right. All right. We'll pull up this video of my ugly mug. Uh, testing all this. Uh, as you can see. All right, so we're going to throw that on the timeline down here, and it's literally as easy as, well, it depends. If you want this entire clip muted, or say, the better thing, the better example to use, and I, I just completely reformatted my computer, so I don't have a lot on here, um, is 
to like say if you have your gameplay that you recorded this the the sounds from the gameplay but all you want is your voice um, so you can just pretend that this is some gameplay instead of my ugly voice going in the video and if you only want certain part if you want the entire thing muted it's literally as simple as clicking this mute button here and then guess what you don't hear it no audio at all <clears throat> alright so you can mute the entire thing or if you only want certain parts of it muted like you actually want to you want to hear it and then you're like mmm yeah I need that part cut out because I need something uh, another piece of audio is more important you go to add a filter go to your audio effects and there is a mute effect that and obviously you're going to want to split and I'll have to remove the mute feet filter from here you have to split at the playhead to separate your where your filter starts and ends so now I'm muted so then you're going to split there boom go to your mute and then just that section's muted only that section So there you have it, guys. Uh, muting, you got covered muting audio in that section. And remember, it's going to be per, if you want the entire the entire clip muted, like say if it's your gameplay and you just want the visual part of the gameplay, just go ahead and click that mute button here at the beginning. It just saves from adding filters and um, it just mutes the entire thing. But if you only want a section of it muted, then split, it, split your parts, split your video at the sections where you want it muted and then add the filter in the section of your video the mute filter to where you want it muted but guys if you like this video please don't forget to click that like button if you enjoy the content of my channel please click that subscribe button I'm at 72 subscribers now Woo, go me um, if you have any other questions uh, please please feel free to hit me up in the comments or send me an email barbarousgaming at gmail.com um, if you want to see all my videos and know when they're released on YouTube, just click that little, the little bell next to the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. Until next time, this is Barbaros of Barbaros Gaming, and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you.